Alright, hey guys, welcome to the first installment in this series where I will be testing some of these weird fan blades that I purchased not too long ago and I made an unboxing video of it. And uh, our first contestant here is a 1996 Super 12 inch table fan and we're going to try fitting some of these blades and see how they perform. I'm going to test the current draw and see how they compare to the original blades. We're also going to check the airflow and see if that either makes it worse or makes it better, so let's get started. To make the test fair, I took both of the grills off the fan because we have some pretty large blades here. Uh, these two are, I think, 14 inches, and we have a 20-inch blade, which obviously will not fit in the grills. So I took that off, so they'll all be spinning in open air, just like that. We have a clamp meter here measuring the current, and it's currently <laughs> reading zero amps of current. Oh man. Alright, so we're gonna test the original blades first. So here it is on, you know, we'll test them all at high speed, just for consistency. Lots of power. We're drawing, and I'd say around 0.3 or 0.31 amps on high speed with the original blades. We'll check out the coast down and we'll compare those two. I'm gonna have to uh, add the timer in post-production but not a bad spin down time. Let's quickly check the uh, uh, current rating. Let's see what it is. Uh, 0.35 so it's drawing ever so slightly less than what it's rated at which is great. So there is the first blade. We're gonna go through the currents first We'll come back and do the airflow test afterwards because uh, the batteries inside here, I need those for the, the anemometer. So, all right, there's the original blade. We're going to switch it with, let's go with this one. <laughs> so here's the nine bladed 12 inch fan blade mounted and we'll start it up on high speed. Whoa. <laughs> you can really hear the difference in sound. That's interesting. Looks like the blades are kind of like wobbling. You see that edge there, kind of like going in and out? That's weird. It's only apparent on the camera. It's not, I can't see it in person, so I don't know. Let's check the current draw. Oh wow, it's actually less. 0.2829 maybe. And I think that's largely because the pitch on these blades are much shallower than the original blades and I can definitely feel the airflow being a little bit weaker but not bad <laughs> kind of sounds like a vacuum cleaner <laughs> all right so there's the 12 inch nine bladed fan blade so let's move on to uh, for a change we'll grab the blue one here all right, so we got the blue blades up next. Very conventional looking, but it's got pretty good pitch in comparison to the original. It's it's almost the same. I can't really get a good comparison here, but oh wow, that's actually pretty darn close. So I'm expecting it to perform quite well. Pretty nice looking blades. So let's start it up. Okay, doesn't seem too bad, and checking the current, we're steady at 0.29 amps, so ever so slightly more efficient than this one, and I can definitely feel that the air flows, I don't know, it just moves it a little different, maybe not quite as strong, but it feels more choppy than the original blades, interesting. Oh, I should probably check how these are balanced, too. Oh yeah, this one's a bit shaky. So not perfectly balanced. Based on the reflection, though, it seems pretty well molded. All right. Ho oh, ho, we're moving up in size. We have a 14 inch five wing or five bladed fan blade mounted and ready to go. So here it is on high speed. 
Wow. So it's definitely not spinning as fast as the 12 inch blades and that's understandable. We are drawing 0 0.31, 32 amps. So more than the original blades, but not by a whole lot. So far all of these blades are performing within, you know, a few percent from the original blades current draw. So not bad, even though it's a larger blade set. It's moving air decently, but I don't think it's quite as good as the original. A little bit of shaking. Neat sound though. And also I kind of discovered that the spin down time comparison is not really fair because that's kind of dependent on the fan motor rather than the blades. And also I didn't really oil this fan. Well, I haven't even cleaned it up, so the, I don't know, the spin down time is very inconsistent. So I'll do a different comparison later on with a better oiled fan. Maybe that'll be more consistent in terms of which blade has more of a longer spin down time. But it's pretty obvious that the heavier blades will generally have a longer spin down time. All right, so we'll take this one off and we'll go with the other 14 inch blade, the nine wing blade. And here's this one. It's not really mounted to the shaft correctly because for some reason this hole seems to be a bit undersized, so it's not really going on there smoothly. And I'd rather not, you know, jam it on because it's going to be a pain to get them off. So here goes nothing. Oh, now this one sounds pretty cool. It sounds smooth even though it's got that buzzy sound to it. I like this one. Yeah, also shaky, but what do you expect? About the same as the other 14 inch blades. About 32 amps. And now we will move on to the 20 inch. Once this one stops. Nice. And last but not least, here we have the 20 inch super skinny fan blades. <laughs> it just looks so weird. So here it is. Let's go and start it up. Oh yeah, it's definitely struggling to get up to speed. Yeah, it's not even spinning at full speed. It's quiet though, I gotta say that. Well, let's see how shaky it is if I carefully reach around. Oh wow, this is buttery smooth. No shaking whatsoever, that's kind of surprising. Pretty shallow pitch though. <laughs> I just love the way the hub is kind of see-through because of the vent holes. That's really cool. Oh yeah, we're drawing 0.34 amps, highest of all the blades, but that's not really surprising. That's still under the uh, spec rating on the sticker. Not saying that's okay, but yeah, this is definitely drawing the most on the current. The reflection on the blades is pretty consistent, so it's, it's molded pretty well with almost no warping. Yeah, that hub looks really cool. Sweet, so those are the current ratings for the different blades. Now I'm going to switch over to the anemometer and we'll take a look at the wind speed. All right, so since we have this blades already installed, we're going to start with this one. I got the anemometer here and I marked the three foot distance from the fan with this tripod handle. So let's fire up the fan and see how the airflow is like. So let's write it up against here. Let's go with, whoa, <laughs> all right, let's go with 2.5, seems to be about the average with this one. Next we have the 14 inch nine bladed fan blade, whoa, okay, the shaft is slipping on the <laughs> up there. All right, so here is same test, oh wow, that's much much higher. 
Let's go with 4.3 for this one. Wow, that's impressive. Next, we have the other 14 inch fan blade, the one that has five wings. Same distance, same test. Around 3.5. Well, cross that out, I would say around around 3.3 for this one. And we have the blue blades. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, well, that's great. Take two, turn the oscillation off, and now let's see what the reading is. Let's go with four meters per second. Pretty impressive. And we're back to this blade. Cover it up. This one gets up to speed real fast. Let's go with... Yeah, the airflow is really choppy with this one. Let's go with three. Three meters per second for this one. And once again, we are back with the original blades. I'm assuming this one will perform the best, but we'll see how it goes. Once again, same spot. Oh yeah, look at those numbers. Actually, it might be a tie with the uh, couple of the other blades. Uh, I would say around... Let's go 41 meters per second with this one. Alright, so I think that's going to wrap up this first video in our blade testing series. And uh, our first contestant being the 1996 12-inch Super. And it was an interesting test because I was expecting the original blades to perform the best, but it proved not to be the case. So I'm pretty excited to see how these blades will perform on other fans. And uh, if you guys have any specific fans that you want me to test these blades on, feel free to drop them down below in the comments and I'll definitely add them to the list. And there will be other parts coming, um, as in, you know, other fans that I'll be testing these blades on. So stay tuned for that. So that's going to be it for this one. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.